Will, how did you use media technologies in the production, research, planning and evaluation stages? We use technology in a number of uh, ways, including the iMac. The iMac is a Apple computer which has specially uh, exclusive uh, applications to it, including creative ones such as Final Cut Express, which we use to uh, edit and um, put together our music video video music video for um, our project. So here we have Final Cut uh, Express. We have the timeline, the uh, the bins and the clips here, as well as the preview uh, screen to show off our um, production of the video. So here we have the timeline here and we can put together all of the clips from our um, from our bin and collection because uh, we have a range of different uh, clips So can I restart? Continue well. So here we had all the bins and we what we did was we put all the clips into the bins of uh, specific parts, so such as opening shots, closing shots and bang, band long shots. We had the, the shots that actually resembled them so we could quickly find them and then put them on the timeline. Uh, we then also had our story light board at the side of us so we could easily um, check how to structure our video. So we could just drag down from one shot and then put the other to continue that. And then some of the effects that we used was quite a lot, like the cross fade here. Uh, unfortunately, that's not coming up. But um, what happens is it's basically a fade in to the next clip, and it's a nice transition to give that music video effect, as well as creating some black and, uh, black and white effects using this effect tools up here. And if we go down, if the effect filter uh, video filters we can go down and see video and then go on to uh, effects such as Cephia which creates the black and white effect this was used to uh, to show a flashback moment in there so, yeah. uh, we then also use Photoshop to create our digipack uh, cover and also back cover including our magazine article as you can see here we have quite a nice effect it, here, which is glowing edges. This was uh, a normal. We we took a normal photo uh, using one of our group members' camera uh, called Harry. And what we did was we just simply took picture, took a range of photos of the band members because there's three of them. We then used this effect black and then the white. So we're kind of like. Uh, Referring back to the uh, the, uh, the Final Cut Express as well in terms of the effects, as well as creating this kind of flat um, logo here to go onto the road because it's like a road and uh, it's it's like they're, they're the band and they're on the road. So what we managed to do here was get the effects uh, off YouTube because we weren't so experienced with Photoshop. So uh, we managed to go onto there and watch the tours and guides had to make this, so it's very helpful. Uh, the next application we used was Blogger. Uh, we used this to um, research and plan for our music video. So here we have like um, research on different types of bands here, uh, such as Nickel and Nirvana. Uh, we can then uh, look back at this and say, oh, we need to we need to um, make our band look like this or betray themselves as this. So it's very good to refer back as well as monitoring our progression of this task. Um, next we use uh, YouTube which we could also manipulate on Blogger and show all that, uh, show some of the research in practice. So here we have some of the demographics on YouTube. So we could basically watch a rock music video, so Nickelback here, how you remind me. Uh, we just basically go down here onto statistics here and we can see the top locations so United States, Brazil, United Kingdom uh, the demographics for age and gender which was very helpful as we can see what type of audience we need to be aiming for uh, next application is Google it's on the internet, all these applications are on the internet now um, 
and we can basically search for different types of images and other stuff. So for our magazine article, we need to research different ones in order to make our own. So we can basically look on here, Green Day, and we can see the layout and the image of it. So it's very helpful there. Also do a lot, a lot of other things such as going on maps. Uh, we can then find out where we need to go for MTV and uh, other places for meetups, stuff like that. Uh, also, we used Facebook, uh, a social networking site, in order to communicate with other members of our group. So here you can see that I'm communicating with Harry at the moment and we're discussing what we need to do outside. So yeah, it's very helpful. As well as getting notifications on our phones and laptops so we could be constantly uh, replying and getting on with the work. Uh, the next is Prezi, which uh, is a very helpful brainstorming application in order to manipulate and create uh, presentations. It's very useful for um, going to one idea for the next. So say like uh, one of our things where we need to look for quite a lot of representations and um, features of a genre. We could say uh, genres need to consider costumes, um, the portrayal of the image, the facial expressions, all that stuff. Uh, we then went on to SurveyMonkey, which is a application where we create questionnaires and then also um, analyze them and get the final results from them which is very good because we can see the type of audiences we need to find. The uh, next application we used was the font. Now this was helpful for uh, Photoshop in particular because we could install and import different fonts to create our um, image, uh, no not our image, our, our logo and uh, for our band. Uh, Next we used, um, so what we also did was we also used scanners to, um, to get some images onto, um, onto our systems uh, such as Blogger in order to show our progression on the internet. So what we can do is we can scan this document in uh, using a scanner and we can then use a memory stick to um, to copy it over and then transfer it onto the IMAX as they have USB. Uh, we also uh, we also were able to use the cameras at MTV, which were very helpful as we could um, as there was four in particular and they had HD ready components using uh, 1080T. So this is the uh, industry standard um, quality. Uh, with these four, there was three where they were on stable, so we could basically move uh, and direct the cameramen to um, to like go to specific shots, uh, as well as the handheld camera as well, so we could get uh, shots such as from the ground uh, and also from above because we needed some bird's eye views from our structured storyline. Um, we also had this um, device at MTV, was called the Mi um, Vision Mixer. Uh, this allowed us to view all of the camera shots um, that were being taken at live. So we could say to cameraman number one, for example, could you take a close-up of Charlie's face, which is one of our band members. Um, we also had the lighting uh, at MTV as well. It's allowed us to make sections of the studio brighter or dimmer for preference, which is very helpful. Uh, 